So, where am I today? And where are we heading? Well, stay tuned and find out. The adventure continues. Well, we're at Honey Lake Campground. This is the second time I've stayed here in my travels down 395, heading north or south. And it's a really pleasant place. It's got a small little store in it. They've got showers, a laundromat. It's pretty well contained for such a small, comfortable, friendly little place. We're in the back. This is the front. And out there, well, out there beyond the trucks and the highway used to be Honey Lake which is now pretty much evaporated. They also have propane and they got full hookups in the front area here and in the back they have areas where you can just pull up and dry camp or tent camp. And over here what is that? They also have a telephone well, that's amazing. And here we are behind the building where the tent and dry camping is. And there we are where we camped once before when we were here. Well, I've been wandering around exploring. think I'll go let the dogs out. Well, I hear they're having a big motorcycle rally in Reno tomorrow. So we're going to skirt that and go down to Virginia City, Nevada. And I tried to make reservations at Gold Hill near Virginia City, which is a Harvest Host kind of ghost town place. But they were booked up for over six months in advance. But I still want to go tour the town, check it all out again, like I did once several decades ago when I was through town. And uh, then we're heading down to, I believe, a lake to get a campsite. So we'll see how things go. Kate, have you been there waiting for me to come back all this time? I know Sarah's been sleeping. What, you sniffing the air? Yeah, there's all kind of critters out here. At least there's a lot of them on the road that we passed. Well, come on, girls. Come on out. Stretch your legs. Come on. All right, let me see. Well, you got a couple hours pill before lunch. Sarah gets finicky. She's so excited that she doesn't eat her breakfast till late in the day. It's not that she needs to lose weight, but she'll drop some, some of that weight if she doesn't eat her regular meals. Kate's hind end is still, still weak after that disease she had this early winter. But she manages to get around. Okay, if you guys are just going to sit there and sniff the air, then I'm going to go do something else. All right. Well, after the afternoon of cleaning the house and taking the dogs for their evening walks, I decided that the next day we would go straight to the Washu Lake State Park and get a campsite there that we could hold on to for a few days and then go up to Virginia City and just spend the day up there. Here we are at Washu Lake State Park where we're going to be for two days while I rearrange the interior of the RV and another day we're going to head up to a ghost town I haven't seen in decades that I really like. Well, we're going to go in and get settled. It's another beautiful day down here in Nevada. Getting to the state park early the next morning was a smart move since it's first come first serve and no reservations. I was lucky enough to snag one of the larger areas I could just pull in sideways, open the side doors, and give the dogs plenty of room on their 15-foot leads to roam around the interior and protected area of the campsite. Looking towards the mountains, you could see Washu Lake, which was one of the bigger lakes I'd seen since coming into this area. Most of the lakes I remember seeing coming through this part of Nevada and California years ago are now nothing but ponds. Now to get a good night's rest and tomorrow morning early 
take the 30 minute drive from the lake here up to Virginia City, Nevada for a day long tour.